Courtney Hodge is the back with you. It's been 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it's been 10 years listening to these Neil Young albums. I mean that in a great way. Good cover. Yeah, but decade. Uh, that's 10 years. It's a great cover. So, this, this is, we weren't going to do this. We decided that we should because it includes a lot of songs that were sort of um, excluded from albums, B-sides. It's a compilation with three records. It's a three LP. And this is a definitive compilation. I want to say it because it came out originally in 1977. We and I really think it's good that they didn't go one, six, two, five, three, right. four. Yeah, the auto couples uh, sides. Yeah, I'm glad. I want to say something about this because this is a compilation, sort of a career retrospective up until this point, 1978. It's meant to be six. I think it's meant to be 67 to 60 or 77. But in any case, we take for granted nowadays. We have so many compilations and greatest hits. Well, this was like one of the this. early retrospectives. Like, be, like people weren't really doing this. No. In 1977, in fact, a lot of people like there were people that reviewed this. Like, what? Who does he think he is? Like, uh, summing up his career when yeah, he's still triple, going. Yeah, triple, right? And the last track is "Long May You Run," which is from that Stills Young band. I know. <laughs> well, I, but well, the we'll camp- talk, let's talk about that in a second. Even but worse. Just, one of the one of the really interesting things about this is that he gives commentary. He wrote personal notes on each song. So yeah, inside we have notes that Neil Young hand, writ, hand wrote himself on each song. Yeah, the first song is Down to the Wire, which was a Buffalo Springfield song that was supposed to be on this unreleased album called Stampede, which I wasn't even totally aware of. It says in the notes. But I know about that song too because of this album. You want to show Little it? Hand. Yellow and hand. It down to the wire, first song, four minutes and fifteen seconds. Can you feel it getting down to the wire? So it's right there, written by Neil Young. Now this band is completely obscure. I don't know why they had access so to it's that song. Neil Young, Neil Young, Jenny. These are all covers. Yeah, there's two Neil Young songs on this and two Stephen Still songs, but they're all Buffalo Springfield band songs that would be released on a Buffalo Springfield box set of unreleased music. What are the Stephen, Stephen Still songs? Well, there's two. the first two songs are Down to the Wire and Sell Out, which were two Buffalo Springfield songs written by Neil Young. Yeah. And then you have uh, Neighbor Don't You Worry and Come On by Stephen Stills. Um, all were unreleased Buffalo Springfield songs. These are songs. all covers. No, these, this band did write some of their own songs, but I don't know who, why this band was able to get them. I don't know why they got access to those songs. This band's completely obscure, one album. They're called Yellow Hand. This guy, Jerry Tawney, was sort of the main writer. So this is obscure. This is obscure, and... And it's one album, right? So, but anyway, that's what I made me think. The first song is Down to the Wire, the Buffalo Springfield version. And interestingly enough, Dr. John, I didn't know, plays on that song. Plays on... On the Buffalo Springfield version. Really? And they were going to make this album called Stampede. It never came out. I think it's a bootleg now. But Buffalo Springfield made a box set, and they included all of these songs on that. Again. But in any case, what else do we have on this Got decade? Three records again. Yeah, three albums. Three three records. Yeah, it says specifically album one, side one, album yep. one, side two, and then the other ones I'm pretty sure are album Of two. interest to me... The songs on here we didn't so we didn't listen to the entire thing because we'd just gone through listening to a lot of the a lot of his like well-known songs from all the albums we just reviewed are on this so we didn't necessarily, yes. necessarily listen to those we listened to the buffalo springfield songs again like yeah like down to the let's see expecting to fly and uh, mr soul we listened to down to the wire we listened to we listened to the whole side one which is down to the wire burn mr soul Broken Arrow, Expecting to Fly on Sugar Mountain, which it, those are all good songs. Buffalo mm-hmm. Springfield songs that are written by Neil Young. Sugar Mountain was a solo song. That's on the, a great song. It was on the B-side of... Uh, uh, Heart of Gold. Heart That's of Gold, sequel. actually. Right. That's where that was released. That's funny. I was trying to figure out where that was from, because it feels like from that era, but wasn't on any of the records. Yeah. It was, so, a, uh, it was originally a B-side of the single, and then first compiled on this. It's a great song. Broken yeah. Arrow is a great song. It's like... Mm-hmm. It's a very weird song. Yeah. yeah. It starts with a, a little bit of Mr. Soul, and then it's a real song. And after that, it's like, I don't know, like some thing that they put in, and then a song. It's like a repeating song. It's, well, six minutes long. It's kind of long. Right. But, um... And we also have I Am a Child, which was an outtake, which was a song that he would put other places, and it was recorded during his first album. But I remember that, like, Broken Arrow, and then, like, some random stuff, Broken Arrow, then, like, a little bit of drums, then Broken Arrow, then 
There's like random jazz music at the end. Weird song. Very cool, I think. Last one on Buffalo Springfield again. So we have a lot of the Harvest hits. We have Helpless, which was on Deja Vu. Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young is on this. Uh, we have Soldier. Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young did a version of Long May You Run. Yes. Absolutely. Soldier was on the Journey Through the Past, an edited version. We have Ohio, which was a big hit that was written right as the, the Kent Massacre happened. That massacre? They wrote, yeah. There was some people that were killed at a demonstrating at, uh, at college. And when did Ohio <laughs> come out? That's when it came out. Neil Young wrote that song and Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young recorded it within From days. B side of what? Uh, it's That's the single. Ohio. Oh, so then what's the B side? I didn't know that backstory. Yes, that's true. But I love that song. But I definitely Great know song. Heart of Gold is Haunting. an A side of Sugar Mountain. Right. Yeah, Ohio was written right after the Kent State Massacre, and I, I don't. I th within days they made it and recorded it and released it to mm. radio. And I think the single came shortly Which one? after. Ohio. Oh. Um, we also have Star of Bethlehem, right? From Homegrown yep. and Love Is a Rose from Homegrown. Those are the only two. Like that was, at the time, those were the songs that made it from Homegrown. Not released. Also, Emotion. Deep Forbidden Lake, a song that never appeared no. anywhere else except no. for this. Great song. Like Winter Long is a excellent. Hurricane had a different version. Yep. And then we have Campaigner and Long May You Run. When Campaigner... Which are Stills Young Band stuff. He, yeah, mm -hmm. he said that he recorded that when he was making Stills Young Band, but it's yes. just him. And then the version of Long May You Run, the hit song with, with Stills... Crosby Stills. ...actually has the Crosby and Nash vocals that they did strip off. Mm. So yeah. he put that version <laughs> on here. He put the original version on here. I'm feeling... Feeling magnanimous. Yeah. I think he felt like, you know what, I'll give you, a, I'll throw you guys a bone, <laughs> Nash Crosby. So this is like, I, you know, I, for, I only recently got this because I was like, for years, I'm like, I don't need this. It's got, it's got obviously a lot of his big songs on here that are on the albums, but all those other little things we mentioned are kind of cool interesting. additions that are only on this. So like, we, we've got, def we've definitely, since it's a compilation, we've definitely got also some songs that we have heard, the loner from his self-titled album. Yeah. Like this side is. Seven Girl and Down by the River. Love here. Those you know those, good, yep. Yeah. Always good. Yes, they are good. Probably everybody knows this Nowhere, his awesome album. Mm -hmm. Again, we got Ohio, Soldier, Old Man, Man Needs a Maid, Harvest, Heart of Gold, all from Harvest. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Cowgirl on the... That's a great song. Cowgirl on the Sand is a fantastic song. Yes, from Everybody Knows This is Nowhere. And I after believe the gold in rush you songs, was yeah. After the Gold Rush, After the Gold Rush, After the Gold Rush, unreleased. No, well, Helpless was on Deja Vu, Crosby, Stills, Abs Nash, and Young. Yes, actually. Why'd I say that? That's okay. Um, and then side five. Well, you're, we're going to go up to side five when we get to Sick It Up Pill, but we have that on a CD. We're, you're going to see what it's going to look like when we do CDs, because we also have some only on CD, right? Mm -hmm. See what it's going to look like. Neil and the Damage Done, Tonight's the Night We've Got Here, Tired Eyes, Good Song. Walk on for the turnstile. Winter long is unreleased, actually, but it's on the, the live at the Fillmore East. Yeah, right. Deep Forbidden Lake was unreleased. completely unreleased until it came out on this. Never appeared anywhere else. It's good. Lake of Hurricane, of course. Love is a Rose, Cortez the Killer. That is from Zuma. And Campaigner and Long May You Run. I love Campaigner. That's, yeah. a, that's an alternate from Hitchhiker. Oh, Long May You Run's okay. It's one of the better ones on that album. It is. And that version's cool. I actually like the Crosby Nash vocals on there. Yeah, but better let it shine. That that was yeah. So um uh, We should read this album. I think you should read it. Album? Triple L P Mm-hmm. How many shaky Silas? I will I think I'm gonna do this. Okay. So shakies to me today. Eight point eight point eight shakies. <laughs> okay. Very specific with the, with the percentage points. I'm going with ten shakies on this. How do you not give this ten? I mean, all the songs that are on it, the the, the unreleased stuff is fantastic. Uh, it's if you only have one Neil, I, I would say like if you ever, if you just wanted to get one Neil Young thing, you that might look at this. It kind of gives you good retrospective. It's all of his best years. Yeah. How can I not give a ten to all the songs that are included? Plus all the the additional new things are great. Only one song from Stills Young Band though. But it's alright. Yeah, but they picked the right one, and the other one he picked was sort of the solo version of, of Campaigner yeah. that he did while I'm making that album. It's, it's, all, it's all filler. All filler. 
Yeah, it's good that they didn't put uh, uh, make love to you on there. Or Ooh, that would have brought it down. Well, they blues. Ooh, that would have brought it down drastically. Uh, or Ocean Girl, or any of the stuff on that album, no. except Let It Shine and Long May Run. What do you think, Miss Camera Woman? Well, I mean, I have to say, I was upstairs working oh, when yeah. we were listening to it, so I think I might have to recuse myself from it, but I am familiar. So you think I should familiar. I rate it or not? It's up to you. I mean... Technically, you didn't listen to it. I didn't. To it I didn't go back and listen to it, but I, I completely echo all of the things you said. Like it's all. It's all of the stuff. All of my favorite. Mm-hmm. All of the best things from all of his best years, plus all the bonus stuff that's really good. So I think I also would have to give it ten shakies. Absolutely. Well, one quick note: he did not include anything from "Time Fades Away." specifically and purposefully. Which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because he was like, that album was like, he didn't like it, but he wanted to put it out there. Why well, you know specifically who, and purposefully? Because he didn't like it, but you know who you know who doesn't like that? Hanu. That's right. Our cat doesn't like, like that it was not included. Why like, did you not put it on Dickie? He, w- he won't listen to Decade. Here, though, all the other albums through uh, American Stars and Bars. Yeah. Hanu tough. has rated everything right. on, like, not what you need to rate it. And also, okay. one quick more mention, this is a great album. 8 out of 10 shakies, but this is a really solid country rock sort of rural psych album. Really good. Right. I, did, I have not heard that, so I do not. Alright, it's a good it's in the universe of Neil Young. And Might Ross be an and... ancillary listen. Yeah. Alright. Alright, thanks for watching Quarantine Bye. Hearts.